In this video, we're going to talk about what an amplifier is and we'll take a look at the different kinds of amplifiers that are out there that you may want to check out if you're looking to buy an amp. Now on my right, you can see we have something of a beast of an amplifier. It's huge. Um, this is known as a stack or also as a head and a cabinet. Um, the head then, this is the amplifier. This is the bit that you plug your guitar into. It's the bit that you plug into the wall and it's the, it's the item that actually does the amplifying. Um, you can probably see just in there a few glowing what appear to be lights, but those are actually valves, also known as vacuum tubes, or just tubes. Now these actually, they do the work in the circuit. They amplify the sound and they also shape it. You see the smaller ones at the front, they're part of the, what's known as the preamp. So they give you the, the, the actual sound of the amp and they amplify it. So you've got guitar into amplifier, the valves make the sound and plug into the speaker. Now it's a huge speaker, as you can see, this is kind of a, this is a gig ready setup. It's a huge speaker, it's very, very loud. You know, you could play almost any kind of venue with this, you know, Wembley Stadium. It would be a suitable rig for any huge stage. It's very, very loud indeed. You've got four speakers, so you can imagine just how loud this is. Um, now a word about valves, they tend to be a little less reliable about them than other kinds of circuit. Um, it's not really a reliability issue as much as they're just a consumable item. So sometimes a valve will fail and you'll need to take your valve amp in to, have to be serviced and for valves to be replaced. That's just something you need to sort of factor into the cost of purchase. You know, valve amps are a little bit more expensive than certain other types of amp, but they're also more desirable. Most guitarists will say that uh, they have a more vintage, not necessarily vintage, you know, you can get modern high gain tones as well, but a more desirable guitarist friendly tone. If you've bought a stack, it's vital to make sure that the amplifier and the cabinet are corrected properly. You'll need one of these. Now this is a speaker cable. It looks exactly the same as a guitar cable because, as you see, the, it does use a jack plug, but the cable's different. The cable is rated to be between an amplifier and a cabinet, so vital to make sure you get the right lead. It's quite simple. Uh, make sure you take the output from your amplifier to the relevant input on your speaker cabinet. Now most amplifiers have more than one output and most speakers have more than one input. So make sure you get the right ones. Whichever model you buy, make sure to check the instructions because it is possible to do damage if you get it wrong. On my left, we have a different kind of amplifier known as a combo. A combo means combined. And what's combined here are the amplifier and the speaker in one box. So that's kind of more efficient than having a separate cabinet and amplifier. This amplifier then, it's a smaller amp, which means it's suited to smaller venues. And you know, if you play in your, in your living room or in your bedroom, if that's where you tend to practice, or if you only do smaller gigs, then it's perfect for you. Uh, the circuit is known as a solid state circuit. And that refers to the, the, the electronics inside the amplifier, and basically just means that there's no valves inside. These tend to be cheaper, more affordable than valve amps. Also, this amplifier has a, a modelling circuit, a digital modelling circuit, which is essentially a, a computer-based circuit designed to model or emulate the sounds of uh, desirable amplifiers from history. The idea in, is basically that you get the sound of a valve amp without having to splash as much cash. Um, as is always the way with these things, some people will prefer one over the other, but best to just go down to your guitar shop and choose one that suits your own ear. 